Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here to show you the new Minn Kota Instant Quest. Now this is a brand new motor. It just came out. It is a brushless motor. This is the 87 inch with 115 pounds of thrust. I had this motor mounted on the Conk 27. My 27 conch right here you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the motor it's remote controlled so we're gonna deploy and the first thing I noticed about this motor is just listen to how smooth the stone deploy is Go ahead and stow it. Pretty simple with the remote. And this is slick how effortlessly it stows and deploys. That was my first impression of the motor. And you can see we have it positioned perfect so it folds up on the gunnel cap, it doesn't come in to the cockpit at all. Stow the motor, you press the side button and hit deploy, or I'm sorry, to deploy the motor. Now with this brushless motor, it is supposed to be significantly quieter and have more torque and power. Even though it's 115 pounds of thrust and the old uh, Alteras and Tarovas were 112, they say this motor has a lot more power. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. So I'm going to just go ahead and get my speed down. And we're gonna turn the motor on. Right, this is on speed four. Believe it or not, the trolling motor is running right now. It is dead silent. It's actually unbelievable how quiet it is. That this thing makes absolutely no noise whatsoever. We're gonna go ahead. We're at prop speed five right now, which is half speed. See the remote. It's, it's very easy and user friendly. I actually really like the new remote. All right, now we're gonna crank it up to full speed. So we're gonna go all the way up to speed 10. Man, this thing it is so quiet. I, it's really impressive how quiet this is. So let's go back and we're gonna take a look at our speed. So it tells you speed on the remote, which is, we're at 4.5 right now. Now there's no wind and there's, it's just about dead dead low right now so it's just about slack 4.8 right now 4.9 see if we get this over five now this is a 20 oh, 5.3 so five miles an hour this is a 27 foot conch center console so with boat motor and fuel this boat probably weighs around 7,000 pounds maybe a little more uh, and this is we're moving five miles an hour it's really impressive and I still can't get over how quiet this is. and you can see the torque I mean I could spin the boat on a dime and uh, it's so smooth this brushless motor that uh, the boats not vibrating it's really really smooth super impressive go ahead and take a look at couple of the other features so obviously we have our spot lock feature right here um, so just press the anchor button and it's gonna tell us our distance from spot lock as it moves us to the spot lock and it holds it it holds the boat really tight I mean it's pretty much spot on people ask me all the time you know does it does it hold you on position? And I mean, it, it's dead on. Obviously, if it's windy, the boat's gonna pivot a bit, but uh, it's it's probably holds you tighter than, than a regular anchor would because you don't have all the scope in the line. Turn spot lock off, it's easy. Just press the button. Uh, another feature I like is the advanced autopilot, or I'm sorry, the autopilot, this is the locked heading feature. There's two different features in the autopilot. I haven't got a chance to play around with them too much, but the locked 
heading I like because what I would do is I could set the motor on this heading and I'm on just for example I'm speed four and it's gonna keep the trolling motor facing that heading so what I do when it's windy out is I can offset the wind with this feature so I'd point the motor into the wind pick my speed and this way I could uh, allow the boat to drift with the current and take the wind out of the equation I use that a ton when I'm fishing now the new motor does have a new feature now as, as I said there's two autopilot features there's also a I believe it's a course heading which I haven't really played around with that yet um, but the new feature on this motor is this bottom left button I don't know how well you guys can see that this is called drift mode and what drift mode does from my understanding is I can uh, face the motor on a particular drift or face the boat on a particular drift and the motor is going to automatically or this feature is going to automatically control the trolling motor speed and heading to keep the boat on that drift. That's how I understand it. I haven't had a chance to play around with that yet. Again, I just got this trolling motor, uh, but just a couple cool features. I do want to show you, we're going to come back to the cockpit here. It's a cold April morning right now. And I'm just going to show you guys on my Humbert Apex. That is the same as the, on the Solux as well. This is our trolling motor features right here so all the trolling motor uh, controls can be controlled from the unit um, I could stow and deploy from here I could trim the motor up trim it down and I just can't get over how quiet this trolling motor is um, I can control the boat from here and do all the functions from this screen. We'll go ahead and stow the trolling motor from here. So again, this is the Minn Kota Instinct Quest. Hope this video helps. This is my brand new motor, 87 inch, 115 pound thrust trolling motor from Minn Kota. Check them out. One really cool feature with the new Minn Kota Instant Quest is the battery monitoring system. So I'm here on the home page on my Humbert Apex. Go to battery monitoring and it's telling me I have I'm at 95% charge. I have three Dakota 100 amp hour lithium batteries. So this is really helpful. So I always know where my battery charge is at.